Good evening. Welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph, and tonight I'm here with Amy and Ian and Shamane. Shannon's doing camera work. Johan is doing administration for us on the computer. And we have four guests also with us uh, tonight. So you're very welcome here. Uh, we're going to uh, take the next uh, hour in a little bit, and we're going to minister to people that need personal uh, prophetic ministry tonight. So please write your name in the comments if you'd like for us to minister to you. So let me quickly go over our uh, prophetic protocol. In 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 3, it says there, When you prophesy, the word must edify, exhort, and comfort. And so that's a boundary that we use when we minister. It also says in verse 29, that two or three prophesy, and then let that word be judged. And so therefore, we minister as a team. So tonight, me and Charmaine is going to minister as a team. And then Ian and Amy is going to minister as a team. And we'll probably minister around about two minutes uh, to each person that put their name on the list. Uh, I want to encourage you, uh, when you, uh, you can, if you are live online and you put your name, we will minister to you. But I don't want you to put a name of someone else that you know on the list. I don't want to minister to people unless they gave us their consent. I think that's good manners to do it that way. And so that's a product protocol that I follow. I want to encourage you, once you receive the word, go back to the recording, listen to it. Write it out, pray about it, get a confirmation from the Holy Spirit, and then ask the Lord, Lord, what is your instructions to me? What do you want me to do? Remember in the scripture it says there that we are co-laborers with Christ. That means there's a part that God is going to do, but there's also a part that you're going to do. So every time when we receive a prophetic word, then the Lord tells us a promise of what he wants to do. But he's also in that uh, condition, an if, an and, and a but included in that word of something that you have to do because we are co-laborers with him so i want to encourage you make sure that you judge that word uh, properly uh, you can even play it to someone that loves you someone that's a, a, a spiritual authority in your life and let them also give you input into your life all right so that was the the ministry you want anything from you there uh, do you have enough people already uh, you have a lot of people there okay uh, so uh, tonight, we're going to minister to 24 people. So what Johan is going to do, he's going to go through the list of the names. Uh, we already have four names on our list, but he's going to add 20 more. So we're going to go up to 24. And so what's going to happen uh, is if you come very regularly, he might skip you. Uh, but he'll probably do about the first 20 people or so that have their name on the list. Okay, the first person I want to minister to uh, is Johan. Uh, so, Johan, what the Lord uh, is showing to me, is showing to me that He has called you to be a, a father, to be a facilitator, and to bring people together. And the Lord says, Son, as you keep your heart close to my heart, I'm going to allow you to be a gate for my glory, to come into your house and also into the vicinity where you operate. The Lord is making you soft. He's putting the rain of His Holy Spirit on you. And I see hard ground that was plowed, but now the Lord is raining that soft rain of the Holy Spirit. And He's drenching you with His Spirit, with His power, and with His love. And He's completely changing your life. The Lord says, Son, I'm proud of you, and I'm affirming you tonight as my son. God bless you, Yuan. Hi, Yuan. God loves you so much, and he's so very proud of you. So I saw this picture that God showed me of like a, a field of wheat that grow, uh, that grow, uh, that grew. You know, the wheat that you can eat and that you can use to make cereal and stuff with. I saw, I saw like a whole crop of it, but I saw like it's like this big, fat, fat, fat um, grains that was growing on it. And I, I got the feeling that God said that is for feeding people and it's for nourishing people. But then I saw like locusts come and they wanted to destroy that crop. But God said he intervened when the enemy wanted to come, come and steal God, um, sent his crop duster, which is the Holy Spirit. And it took away the enemy just so that the enemy could not steal from you. And then I also saw like this picture of how God showed me like where you were sitting with a prayer shawl around your, sp uh, around your shoulders. And I saw how you like were praying and how God gave you spiritual answers and revelations and new things that you were learning that God gave you. And I see how God is infilling you with new power and new strength and how is God is saying that he's very proud of you. God loves you. Be blessed. 
Okay, thank you, Johan. Uh, the next word is for David. David, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I just saw a mighty man. Even though you think, when you look in the mirror and you think, Lord, why am I so small? Why did you make me like this? The Lord says, don't look on the outside. Look on the inside. You're a mighty man. The enemy came when you were very young and he tried to break you down. He tried to break your confidence down. But the Lord says, tonight, my son, I'm restoring it to you. You will be known as a mighty man. Your footsteps will be ordered by the Lord. You will think, Lord, I need to do this. And the Lord says, I'm going to send you there. And everything, all of the plans will be arranged for you. Things will just fall into place. Because you said, Lord, I'm here. Use me, even though I feel weak, even though I feel insecure. And the Lord says, I don't care about that. I care about your future. Your past is gone, but your future is something enormous, amazing. Be blessed, David. Amen, David, God loves you very much. David, the picture God showed me was how you were standing before him. And I saw the Lord was knighting you. And the Lord says, my son, I'm going to use you to speak my truth, to speak my love. And there's a lot of songs that the Lord is giving to you. It actually looked like a songbook that the Lord was giving to you. And the Lord says, this is a bunch of love letters that you're going to bring into this world. And, and then David, the next picture God showed me was how the Lord has placed a crown of joy upon your head and there's a supernatural joy and blessing that is coming upon your life david god loves you god bless you okay amen okay so um uh, i want to encourage you uh to please hit the, the like button uh i see it's quite a lot of people on here i want to encourage you as you receive uh words tonight make sure that you that you give us some feedback um and just uh testify about what God is doing in your life. I also want to encourage even this first four people that we ministered to, make sure that you get the link and go back, listen to that word, write it down, because I believe the Lord is releasing keys to you that will help you. Okay, so um, Philip, I just want to add to your word that the Lord shows me a crown of authority. Uh, oh, sorry, David, I apologize. I'm going to Philip now. Philip, uh, the Lord has gave me these words, fire of the Holy Spirit. And I really believe that the Lord is putting the fire of the Holy Spirit on you, David. Okay, so, um, okay, the next word is for Kayla. Kayla, uh, the Lord says, uh, daughter, it's time for you to be thoroughly planted uh, in, uh, in the kingdom of God, in the house of, of the Lord. I saw a picture of a, a pot plant and you were planted there and you grew and it was a safe environment. But now the Lord says, it's necessary for you to be that tree that's planted next to the river of life so that you can grow big and you can uh, bear your fruit. Then the Lord said to me, uh, I have called you from when you were a young person. And when you gave your life to me, then I placed my fire and my passion uh, inside of you. Uh, and then the Lord said to me, uh, the anointing in your life is an anointing uh, for ministry, an anointing for family, and also anointing to coach and train others. And I believe even in your work that you're going to do, even in the relationships that you're going to do, you're going to find yourself always involved in ministry uh, and in family and in coaching and training others. That's a, a real anointing that's in your life. God bless you, Kayla. Hi, Kayla. Um, God loves you so much and he's so proud of you. So I saw this picture of God showing me like a diamond. And he showed me that even though it's like a small diamond, it still has lots of value. So God said that you have lots of value in his eyes and he sees you like the most valuable jewel in his kingdom. And God says he's anointed your feet and he's placed sandals on your feet so that he can send you out to, to go and do what he has anointed you to do. God is saying that he's anointing your lips as well and he's giving you a voice to speak. He's giving you a boldness to speak as well. God is saying the heaviness that you're carrying on your heart God is taking that and is wiping it away and he's like making it clear. He's putting a joy inside of you and he's putting a hunger inside of you that cannot be um, nourished with food or anything. God is putting that hunger inside of you so that you can just be filled with God's presence and God's spirit all of the days. God loves you so much. Be blessed. Okay. Thank you, Kayla. The next Philip. Philip, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of the enemy that is trying to strangle you and get the Spirit of God out of you. But the Lord said, that shall not be so. Agree with your accuser. Enter into the courts of heaven. 
clear all of the things that need to be cleared because I want to use you. I'm going to give you a mouth. I'm going to give you a stage. I'm going to give you the opportunity to be my spokesman where you can speak and when you can interpret what I'm what I want to tell uh, to the people. Um, trust in me, says the Lord. Don't focus on your own understanding. Don't focus on your own strength. But when you say, Lord, I'm going to partner with you. I'm going to connect to you. I, I don't want to disconnect from you. You will see like scrolls flowing for, for uh, instructions that you that the Lord is going to give to you so that you can follow that. You will know what to do next. Be blessed, Philip. Amen. Philip, the Father showed me a picture of how the Lord is calling you to be a fountain near dry soil wherever there's a lack of the holy spirit and the anointing of god i feel the lord says my calling for you is to be a fountain to overflow and then um philip there's such an incredible calling for you in your life um, a pastoral anointing and i feel the lord says i'm giving you the anointing of wisdom i'm giving you the um knowledge um, of discernment and i feel the lord is going to use you especially with his voice and speaking to you there's such an incredible anointing for you to hear the voice of God and I really believe supernatural encounters are coming to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay. Awesome. Uh Philip, uh, the Lord showed me a crown of authority. Yeah. And he and sometimes you walk in authority and then sometimes you pull back. And I just felt that the Lord says stand the ground because he's gonna give you a land uh, that you occupy and you have to stand in faith because that's what the promise that the Lord has given to you. Uh, the Lord also showed me when your word comes out of your mouth, there's fire in it. And then the Lord showed me a fiery sword. Uh, and I know in, uh, in, a, in, I think it's in Genesis chapter 3, it talks about the fiery sword. Um, and I believe that the Lord says that word that comes out of your mouth is going to be like that fiery sword. So the Lord loves you very much. Uh, God bless you, Philip. Uh, please write uh, comments for us. And each one that's online tonight, just make sure uh, connect with people, different ones. Uh, just give feedback encourage us encourage one another if the lord uh, put something in your heart for some of the other people that's online share it with them this is a place where we love one another and we open up our hearts for god's glory to come so the next word is for namala so namala what the lord shows me is that he is releasing to you keys to step into your destiny and i really believe that is almost as if you were uh, limited on your, on your vision that you had in your life, but the Lord is taking those little um, barriers off of your, your eyes, those little, I don't know what's the correct word, but those little things that was in front of your eyes, the Lord is taking them out and He's restoring vision uh, 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 in your life. And this is not the end, there's a good future and a plan that the Lord has for your life. The Lord also said to me that He is going to quench your thirst and so therefore desire him with everything that's in you and you will quench your thirst uh, the lord is healing you in this day and there is a season where you're going to be launched but it's first a season of healing and then a season of launching that the lord is doing to you god bless you normala hi normala god loves you so much um so i just saw this picture of how god showed me like a ladder going up to heaven and I felt that God's saying that you can go up to him anytime and you can sit with God and you can yes. get revelations from God. But then I felt like it's like there's a physical um, problem in your body or something like that, a sickness or something like that, something that's hindering you from spending the time with God and wanting and getting more revelation from God. And I just felt like God is saying that you need to break bread, have communion with God, have communion with your family, have communion with uh, people around you. Because when you break the bread and when you take partake of the body of Christ, there's like lots of healing in it for you. And I just feel like God is saying that he's touching you and he's like healing you. And he's like taking that heart that's been broken and he's taking that heart that's been feeling like it's like lost or something like that and he's taking it and he's healing it and he's giving you new fullness and revelations from God and God is saying he's loving you he loves you so much and be blessed thank you Nirmala for being here tonight please remember to write comments testimony feedback we love to hear from you please serve the faith keep on encouraging each other pray for one another we love to see your comments and read your comments okay the next word is for Elizabeth. Elizabeth, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. Um, the Lord says, I will heal your heart. There's something tremendous, traumatic that happened to your heart. And the Lord says, 
I want to heal it, I will heal it, and I will restore it. I want to put you on stage. I've given you anointing, but because of the attacks of the enemy, you don't have that confidence. You feel you are not worthy. The Lord says, it's not you who makes you worthy. It is I who make you worthy. And the Lord says, I will do it once again. I will clear you. I will give you your joy back. I will give you healing so that you can minister to people, but that you've got that deep compassion for people because you want to care for them, because you're going to know uh, what truly makes sense in life, what is what is the right things to desire. And the Lord says, uh, don't be afraid. I am with you. Be blessed, Elizabeth. Amen. Elizabeth, God loves you very much. And the Lord is calling you to come deeper into his presence. Elizabeth, the picture God showed me is how he's calling you into this beautiful secret garden where you'll spend more time with him. And I just feel the Lord says, my daughter, I want to cover you with my compassion and my anointing. And I just feel the Lord says that he's going to use you to sing songs. I just saw how you were singing unto the Lord with so much um gratitude and you are just so overwhelmingly thankful and i just feel lord says he's going to use you to sing songs to him and and they weren't loud they were so soft but they were so anointed and then elizabeth the next picture god showed me is how god is giving you supernatural healing and the lord is going to use you to heal a lot of people especially in your family and you know it's usually when we pray for when we pray for healing to come upon people we we put uh, we lay hands on the person's shoulder or something Thing. so i really want to encourage you lay hands on people pray for people because god has given you the gifts for healing god loves you very much god bless you elizabeth oh elizabeth the lord really shows me that he's cleansing you from things that happened in the past uh, he has placed on you a kingly anointing uh, and that there's a real fragrance of the holy spirit uh, on your life because you're so faithful to spend time with him but it's very important that you have to love yourself. God loves you, but you've got to love yourself uh, also uh, so that you can, can rise up to that, be that woman of God that He's called you to be. So God bless you, Elizabeth. Please uh, write us feedback. Uh, so I'm looking at some of the feedback, Nirmala. Uh, you, you just write here, thank you, family. So I'm going to ask you, Nirmala, just go back and write us a proper feedback with some testimony of what God has doing into your life and I want to encourage each one as you as you receive ministry make sure that you write a nice feedback because the whole idea is we want to encourage everyone that's on a live stream because that is what builds our faith and also when I testify about what God is doing in my life then it helps to activate uh, that that healing that miracle that uh, move of God in my life so it's very important you know in uh, Revelation chapter 11 says we overcome by the word of our testimony so Okay, uh, the next person I would like to minister to uh, is uh, Magoy. Okay, Magoy, this is what the Lord uh, said to me. He said to me that He's going to give you fresh revelation. You were in an old system. He's helping you to get out of that system and to get the fresh revelation uh, into your life so that you can be in sync with what God is doing right now in your life and what he wants to do in your city where you're on. The Lord is going to raise you up as an influencer and it's going to help you. But you're almost powerless when you are in a system. But the moment you step into a relationship with God and in the power of God, then suddenly you can flow with the power that's in him. The Lord also shows to me that the word comes alive in you so i don't know uh, if you enjoy to read the bible but it felt to me you were reading it now it was just went into knowledge uh, and there was no power and i just saw how the word of god has started to come uh, alive in you and uh, the words that came out of your mouth even touched people's lives and it brought about a change in them and so i, I really feel the lord says he's putting a fresh anointing for fresh revelation upon your life god bless you Hi, Emma Goy. God loves you so much. So I just saw this picture God showed me that um, it's like you're striving for perfection. It's like everything needs to be, 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 be perfect. And if it's not perfect, it's like it's not correct in your way. It's like it's like it's like almost it's the end of the world because it's not perfect. It's not the way it, you planned it to go. And God is saying sometimes you have to deviate from the plan because the Holy Spirit wants to take over. And the Holy Spirit wants to, to move in the place. And when you just focus on this plan of this is the plan and this, this is what we need to do, then the Holy Spirit doesn't have room to, to take over. And then God also showed me like how 
he, he's going to show you a laser point of exactly where he wants you to minister and exactly who he wants you to minister to. I just feel like God is saying that you need to like focus in your focus your eyes on God and focus on what God shows you to do and focus on God's voice as well so that you can hear clearly when God gives you instructions and hear clearly when God sp- sends you out. Um, God loves you so much. Be blessed. Thank you, Magoy, for being here tonight. Please remember to write us as comments, testimony, feedback. We love to hear from you. Please, I want to see more testimonies. We want to stir up the faith yeah. of the community. So think about it. What did the Lord do to you? What did this word do to you? Did it encourage you? Did it help you? Um, so please, we want to hear from you. Okay, the next word is for Petronella. Petronella, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of you standing with a mic and you sang. And it came right out of your heart. You didn't have time to prepare. You, you were just put on the spot or placed on the spot. And the Lord just filled you with the spirit and you started to sing. But my, it was very, very beautiful. The Lord says, even though you don't have the confidence or you feel you're not equipped, my spirit can equip me, equip you in an instant. Especially when the Holy Spirit comes on you to anoint you to deliver a specific message, a specific song. And I see there's a specific song that the Lord has placed on your heart. Don't restrict it. Just say, yes, Lord, here am I. Use me. And you will see there's a lot of change that bound you. And the Lord says, I'm going to cut those things off. Uh, but it's going to take some faith and confidence from your side as well to believe that the Lord will do what he says he's going to do. Be blessed. Hello, Petronella. So lovely having you here with us today. Um, Petronella, the Lord says, my daughter, I love you, and I'm going to eliminate and take away all fear, all stress and anxiety. There's a breakthrough of the love and the freedom of God that is coming upon your life. Um, Petronella, there's such an incredible prophetic calling in your life where you hear the voice of God and you speak what he says, but there's also a business calling in your life, and I really feel the Lord says, I'm going to give you you um creative ideas from heaven of how to how to become successful and how to make profit because the lord has called you to be generous the lord has called you to be a kingdom builder and i feel the lord is giving you supernatural strategy of how to make more profits and how to become successful because god's desire is for you to be successful and victorious so lord i thank you father for your supernatural anointing and love and this is a new time in your life and i really want to encourage you be excited for the things that God's going to do in your life is going to be good. God bless you. Hey, Petronella, I really believe the Lord is giving you supernatural strength. That same strength that was on Samson, uh, you know, um, that same strength the Lord is giving to you. Uh, thank you, Petronella. Please write a, a comment. Uh, it's wonderful to have you here. I know you've been a few times here with Unity and uh, um, you feel like you're part of the family. And so we just bless you tonight. Um, so the next person I would like to minister to is Viana. So Viana, I hope I pronounced your name correctly. Uh, uh, you want to say uh, Viana? Viana. Uh, yeah, okay. But I think Vi- Viana. Let's go with that. Okay. So what I saw, I saw a bunch of small little baby chickens. Hey, uh, little chicks. And how you were a mother hen. And how you were the whole time trying to bring these chicks from one area to the next area and you were uh, taking care of them and making sure not one of them gets lost and they all eat their food and they get their water and they're safe and they can grow up and they can be happy and i felt that the lord is giving you an anointing to sponsor people when they gave their life to jesus to go through those first steps until they can stand on their own legs and they can become operational in the kingdom of god and so jesus had a special anointing on his life to disciple Uh, his disciples Uh, and i believe that the lord says that same anointing that jesus gave to his disciples when he said i'm sending you and make disciples that same anointing is placing upon your life also Uh, a lot of compassion a lot of his love a lot of patience that is releasing into your life Uh, the lord is also giving you a promise that he's going to help you with your financial needs i see there's a few financial needs that's worrying you and the scripture says, seek first the kingdom of God and you'll add all these other things. And I just felt that the Lord says, do not worry about that. The Lord is going to help you. He's going to meet your needs, but he wants you to focus on his kingdom. God bless you, Viana. Hi, Viana. Um, you are such a precious jewel in God's kingdom. God loves you so much. I just see how God is showing me just 
beautiful, beautiful, lovely posture um, feel that you are sitting in and how you are worshiping God and your God's anointing is on you. And I just see how the sun rises and the sun shines on you. And when that uh, sun shines on you, I just see how God is saying that you are his anointed one and you are anointed to shine God's light. And then I just feel like God is saying, I've placed, I've made you to feed my sheep and I've made you to tend my sheep as well. And God is saying, my daughter, favor, favor, favor. I just feel like God is saying favor to you. And I feel like God is saying, don't worry about provision. Don't worry about your finances because I'm going to provide for you whatever you need. I just see how God is uh, sending truckloads of like groceries and um, everything that you need, God is going to send to you. Um, I just feel like God is saying that he's placed a tender, soft heart inside of you as well to be a mother to many, many people as well. God loves you so much. Be blessed. Okay, thank you, Viana, for being here tonight. Uh, it sounds like an awesome flavor of favor for you, so enjoy that. Um, please remember to write us comments, testimony, feedback. We really want to hear from you. Okay, the next word is for Evelyn. Evelyn, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. Um, the Lord says, I'm going to break confusion. I saw it looks like a helmet that is just confusion. The Lord says, I'm coming to remove it off of your life and I'll give you clear thoughts what you prayed for. And then I also saw the Lord says, uh, plant a garden. Make sure you tend your garden, especially the garden in your heart. There's a, there's a lot of empty spaces, but there's also things growing there that's not supposed to grow there. Uh, above all things, guard your heart. That's what the scripture says. So, uh, ask the Lord, Lord, test my heart and show me what does not belong in my heart and help me to remove it because I see uh, there's a, a not a good balance uh, that, that the Lord wants to help you to uh, rectify so that you can have that lovely spirit once again, that you can have that time with the Lord where you just feel free to worship, to dance. You don't care what other people think. Um, so that's what the Lord wants for you. Be blessed, Evelyn. Amen. Evelyn, God loves you very much. Evelyn, there's such an amazing anointing. The Esther anointing is upon your life where the Lord is going to use you to speak to people and just touch their hearts. And then Evelyn, while well, I pray for you, the Lord showed me a picture of diamonds. And I feel the Lord is saying to you, my daughter, you are precious. And you are not only a diamond, but I'm going to decorate you with diamonds. I saw the Lord was just, you know, the armor of God. I just saw it was so beautiful. And I just feel the Lord says, this is a season where you're going to be equipped. This is a season where you shall know my strength, you shall know my love, but also the Lord is going to teach you his gentle compassion. There's an anointing of gentleness upon your life, and that's going to reach so many hard hearts. Um, Evelyn, God loves you very much, and I, I really believe you've been called for such a time as this. God bless you. All right, Evelyn, uh, the Lord showed me a picture of a mother that's pregnant and is about to give birth. And I just felt that the Lord says, He's played something inside of you. And don't neglect it, but uh, allow Him to grow that so that you can give birth to that move of God that He wants to do uh, in you. And I actually see how you, you go and labor and you push and you intercede and you pray and you labor and travail before the Lord. And He gives you the breakthrough that you need. God bless you, Evelyn. Please write a comment for us. I also want to say thank you uh, to each one that is writing. Uh, uh, there's now a lot of people that's writing all kinds of comments. Um, we have a lot of people that's online here tonight. Um, so we are here every Monday evening and every Friday evening. Mondays, South African time, 7 o'clock. In Fridays, you, we usually st st uh, start around about uh, quarter to 8, 8 o'clock. Um, tonight we went on a little bit longer at church because we were... Uh, praying for people to be filled with the Holy Spirit, uh, but um, you can come on and when you come early, just write your name in the comments and we would love to minister to you. So tonight we're ministering to 24 people. So the next person we're going to minister to is to Jenny. Uh, so Jenny, I see you uh, see somewhere from America. Hey? Yes. Where are you from, Jenny? I'm just going to quickly look here. Please, you can write. Where are you from? It's always nice to... Are you from California, Jenny? Okay. All right. So, Jenny, this is what the Lord showed me. He showed to me that He gives you feet to step on scorpions and on snakes. And uh, the enemy was trying to take the territory where you were. 
but the Lord has given you authority, and especially in your house and in the vicinity of where your family is. You have really taken authority. You're standing on a word of God and you're having breakthrough. But the Lord says, the authority that I've given to you and the responsibility that I've given is not just limited to your own family, but it's actually further. And I'm going to show you what businesses, what organizations, and what people I'm putting in a sphere of your responsibility to minister to, to pray for, to speak the word of God, and to take spiritual uh, authority. Now, when we go into the world to get people to get saved, we first need to take uh, uh, authority in the realm of the Spirit, because that's going to bring peace, and then you can go in with the word, and you can testify and see people's hearts changed. And I felt that the Lord says, Daughter, I'm giving you an anointing, so that when you come in contact with someone with a heart to heart, that that anointing of yours is going to be so powerful and so full of the fragrance of God's love that their heart will melt and they will give their life to God. Jenny, the Lord is going to use you in a powerful way. And I just feel that the Lord is activating you in this time. You know, we always hear about the wars that they have been in Europe and now they're always asking for more soldiers to join, to come and help fight. And I just felt that the Lord says he is enlisting you today in his army. God bless you, Jenny. Hi, Jenny. God loves you so much. I just feel like God is saying he's equipping you and he's equipping your family as well. And then I feel like God is saying he's like sending you out. And then you know when when you've got like dogs or cats or something like that, you're always like stuck with hair on your body on or on your clothes, like stuff like, like that. And God is saying that's the way you are going to be like around people. You're going to be stuck on them. And they won't be able to get rid of you, rid of you because you've got such an anointing on you to talk to people about God's favor and God's glory that you are not going to be you are going to be very persistent about doing that. You are going to be you are on fire for doing that. And I just feel like our God is saying He anointed you to be like that. He anointed you be to be like um somebody that can talk to people about God. And God is saying He's touching your lips. And he's giving you favor as well. He's giving you the authority to speak to people. And he's giving you the confidence as well to speak to people. God loves you so much. Be blessed. Okay, thank you, Jenny, for being here tonight. Please remember, we want to see your comments. We want to see your testimonies. We want to stir up the faith and increase the faith. And thank you, guys, for the ones of you that is responding. And please, I see this prayer request as well. Jump in and pray. The more people pray, the better. So declare the goodness of God over each one, especially the ones in need. And thank you for the ones that are doing that. Okay, the next word is for Barnabas. Barnabas, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. Uh, stand up and declare my goodness over your life. I see uh, the Lord wants to help you to renew your mind so that you think and know that he is good. Because if uh, a lot of times as, you th as a man thinks in his heart, so he is. And there's a change that the Lord wants to bring in your heart, but it's going to start with you declaring. So stand up. Don't sit. Stand up and say, yes, Lord, you are good. And get scriptures in the Bible and say, get promises. Write them down and speak them so that your ears can hear. And the Lord's going to help you to rewire uh, your heart. Because there's things that happen that the Lord wants to use you. And then I saw a picture of you roaring like a lion. So the yeah. Lord's going to give you tremendous authority especially in your voice, but you need to conquer this part first of renewing your mind to the will of God, and then the Lord's going to fill you with that power and authority to speak His word. Be blessed, Barnabas. Amen. Barnabas, God loves you very much. The Lord says, I'm cutting off the old, and I'm bringing in the new. The Lord says, this is a new season, this is a new time, and I'm cutting off the past, I'm cutting off a lot of words from the past, and I just feel the Lord says, this is a moment of breakthrough. Um, the picture God showed me was how He was giving you all these scrolls, and all these letters, and how you kept on, um, and all of them were like promises, and things God is saying to you, and I saw how you're like, you have your signature there, I'm like, yes, Lord, I agree with that, Yes, Lord, I agree with that too. And I just see how you come into the presence of God and you're just saying yes, 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 humbly. And I just feel because of your willing heart, there's so much breakthrough that is coming. Then Barnabas, God has given you a calling to... Um, 
um, uh, the, the, the picture I saw is how you were feeding people. So I don't know if this is feeding people from for actual food, or like a soup kitchen or something, or it could even represent feeding people with the word of God. But the Lord is giving you an anointing to overflow and just to bless people around you. There's just a blessing anointing. But first, the Lord wants you to overflow four times. So thank you, Father, for Barnabas. I just speak this blessing. And Barnabas, rise up with the might of God. God bless you. Hey, Barnabas. Um, yeah, I, I just, uh, what did I write here? I just saw how the Holy Spirit was just tracking you. It's like a flame of fire, just like on you. You know, when you look on your GPS and you see the little dot wherever you drive, I just saw like the fire of the Holy Spirit upon your life. Uh, the Lord is really helping you and you have a desire in, on you, uh, in you to be in constant communication with Him. And I, and I just feel the Lord says He's very pleased with that, Barnabas. God loves you very much. Hey, God bless you. Okay, so I see there's some nice comments. Joker, you are a star. Woo! Thank you very much. I love your enthusiasm and your comments. Uh, you have really an anointing in you to encourage people, and I'm I'm thanking you for it. Peter and Ella, also thank you for your, your feedback here. That's amazing. Uh, Jenny, I thank you so much. God spoke clearly exactly. What I needed to hear right now, this confirms I've been hearing from him and removes all doubts. Uh, uh, Jenny, I believe that the Lord is giving you victory and it's good that you testify about what God is doing uh, in your life. Okay, um, I also saw uh, Hannah. Where's Hannah? It's number 15. Oh, okay. Okay, Hannah, uh, we're excited about ministering to you. While I was sitting here, the Holy Spirit is just showing to me, it's going to help you to let that river flow out uh, from the inside out. And so you're not going to be affected from what you see on your circumstances. You're going to be affected by the love and the power of God that's in on the inside of you. But we're going to still minister to you, number 15. I thought you your name was not on here. Oh, okay. We put your name on number 15. Elizabeth was there. Eh? I think he duplicated number 6 and number 15. So he was able to put you in there. So I know, I'm, I hope you're still here. Can you please just write us in the comments that you're still here just to give us that confirmation. Okay. So the next word is for Ilion. Yeah. Ilion, I hope I'm saying your name right. So I see how the Lord stretches you <laughs> and how uh, he's going to help you to get educated and trained and equipped so that you can do business and you can work in a marketplace. And the Lord said to me, I've called you to be a minister in a marketplace. And where you work and where you go, you're going to minister to many. Many is going to come into the kingdom of God. Uh, marriages are going to be restored. There's going to be godly counsel and love that's going to flow out of you. And you're going to be someone that touches people. And, and I just felt that the Lord says, Son, I'm putting my fire and my passion and my love on you. But I'm also giving you a wisdom to make money. And you're going to make money. You're going to be... Uh, have more than enough for your family, but you're also going to have money to push into the kingdom of God so this kingdom can be established. The Lord loves you and His favor is upon you. God bless you, Ilion. Hi, Ilion. God loves you so much. So I just feel like God is saying that you are a favorite. And I feel, I, I, I see how you like on this journey with God and I see how Jesus is like sitting right next to you. And I feel like, that you've got like a personal relationship with Jesus and Jesus is like your friend and Jesus gives you like um, information and he talks to you like uh, you have a conversation with Jesus. And I just feel like how Jesus is saying he's like filling your tank with new petrol so that you can uh, continue this journey with, with Jesus. And I see how God is giving you this platform to, to talk um, to give the, the, the word that God is giving you to other people as well. And I just feel like that you are such you are in such a privileged um, stage where you have like one-to-one -one communication with Jesus and with God and that you can have visions and everything that God is giving for you. I just feel like God is saying as well that you've reached your destination and he's going to send you out now as well. God loves you so much. Be blessed. Thank you, Ilian, for being here tonight. Please remember... Write those comments. We want to stir up the faith of the community. And thank you guys for those of you who are obedient. Okay, the next word is for Yana. Yana, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I just saw a picture of you where the Holy Spirit takes you and He baptizes you in water. But as soon as you rise up, 
your your all of the dead things that are clinging to you remains in the water and you stand up a new person and you can't believe that you've got so much energy you've got you feel healthy again you feel like you can you can do things again and all of those dead things the holy spirit's going to remove it off of you and then i see a a mother's anointing where you can bring in and just care for people that that people that need a mother's love you'll be able to give it to them but also you will be able to speak into their lives because they will see the anointing in you and they will allow you to speak into their life and once you do that it's just going to open so much door for a lot of people so don't stop caring about people don't stop praying for people the lord is going to use you in a mighty way be blessed you Amen. Yana, God loves you very much. The picture God showed me was how He's going to open up the eyes of your heart and the Lord wants you to see His face. There's an anointing for encounters of God to come into your life where you're going to really see the face of the Lord. Um, and then um, Yana, the next picture God showed me was how you were walking by the beach of Jesus and for quite a long time you felt like you, you feel like you need a vacation, you need to get away from it all and just to be refreshed. But I feel the Lord says this refreshment is not going to come from going away to another place. I feel the Lord says this peace and, and this refreshment is going to be through him. And I just feel Jesus says that I'm going to give you a supernatural peace, a peace that you're going to use in this time of your life. And the Lord has given you a leadership anointing. Um, I know you know it. And I, I just feel that you've been a little bit overwhelmed because, you know, the scripture where it says, when you're faithful, the few God will give you more. And I just feel the Lord is giving you more. And you're like, no, Lord, I don't want more. But I feel the Lord says it is time. And, and I feel the Lord says that you're going to be ready because I'm going to be with you. And remember, God's yoke is light. So just receive the freedom and the lightness of God. God loves you. God bless you. Uh, Yana, the Lord showed me a champagne bottle that the cork is popped off and it and it just bubbles over. It. And and I think in the Hebrew they got a word nabai, which is a, a, a word for the prophecy that just bubbles out. Hey. Uh, there's a few prophets in the Bible when they start to prophesy, they, they couldn't contain it. It just, it's just the word is just flowing out, and I feel that is what is going to happen to you in your life. God bless you, Yana. Please write us a, um, a feedback. Okay, so the next uh, word is for Hannah Joy. Am I correct? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Okay, so Hannah, the Lord is really saying to you, I'm giving you strength to overcome. And you should not fear. Do not worry about your brother. Uh, give your brother to the Lord. I see it's like you try to take responsibility, but you know, at the end of the day, the Lord is the one that's our father and he takes responsibility for each one of us. And you have to come and you have to say to the Lord, Lord, I give my brother to him, to you. And then I saw how the Lord actually sent someone over your brother's life to speak to you, uh, to speak to him and to minister to him and how the Lord He's going to take care of that situation. So you don't have to fear. The Lord is with you. Uh, also, in terms of your own life, I believe the Lord is going to bless your family. His hands upon you. I see actually hooks of the enemy that's being unplugged. Uh, uh, shackles that's falling. Weights that's coming down. Weights from your shoulders that's coming down. And you're walking in the rest and in the authority of God. God loves you very, very much, um, Anna. Hi Hannah Joy, God loves you so much. I just see um, God is showing me this beautiful, beautiful picture of how you're like sitting on a chair and all around you is like angels ministering to you. And I just feel and I hear how this angels speak and how they sing this wonderful frequency over you. And I, when you hear that frequency and when you feel that frequency, I just feel that you get peace and you get love and you get it feels like you're encouraged and uplifted because of God's goodness and God's love in your life. I just feel like God is saying that you need to speak life over your brother. You need to speak life over circumstances. And then I see how God is like taking this jug of oil and he's like taking, um, pouring the jug of oil all over you. And, and you are like saturated with the jug of oil, with all the oil. And then I feel like that oil that's on you how you give that oil to other people, everybody that you touch, everybody that you reach out, and you give that oil of glory, that oil of God to other people. God loves you so much. Be blessed. Hi, Anna. 
Yes, may the Lord bless you. Uh, you are beloved of Him. So don't don't focus on all of the the negative heartache stuff. Just see yourself in a positive light. Um, okay. The next word is for Tony. Tony, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a car coming into the pit stops, and the Lord says it is time for rest. But it's not rest like sleeping rest. It is like uh, coming in, receiving new tires, new fuel um, to give you new traction. I see there's, uh, it's like a car whose wheels are, uh, uh, doesn't have a lot of grip. The Lord says, I, would, I just want to take you in. I'm going to give you new traction in life. I'm going to help you. But I'm also going to give you new power and new fire. So a passion within you so that you can just go out and say, yes, Lord, here am I. Send me. I just see how you want to reach a lot of people. You want to tell them, hey, God is good. This is what the Lord has done for me. So keep on doing that. If you've got a small desire, the Lord is going to help you to enlarge that and use that as a gift to bring glory to his name. Be blessed. Hey, Tony. I'm Tony Stark. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I had to do it. All right, hi, Tony. God loves you very much. The picture God showed me for you was how you know in um you know in armies they they sometimes have this drummer that is drumming and conducting so everybody is like in the same going the same pace same rhythm and i feel the lord says i'm going to use you to bring people into the rhythm of my holy spirit there's an incredible anointing of an encourager a conductor and just a a person of life that the lord has placed you to be and then tony the picture also god showed me was how the lord is i'm um, taking your heart the lord says i'm transforming you for, to, for your your heart to become more like my heart i just feel the lord Lord says there's a there's a beautiful connection that he wants to bring to you where you shall know the heart of the father and you shall know his embrace and then there's a scripture that says my sheep know my voice and i just want to remind you that you know the voice of god god has given you the holy spirit so just trust in him god loves you tony god bless you hey tony i really believe that the lord is taking you into a place of spiritual maturity where you can really minister to other people and you can be a, a father. And I think in the past, people didn't always take you seriously. But, but because of that crown of authority, that mantle of God upon your life, people are going to start to realize that there's wisdom in that counsel that comes out of that man because he's a mature son of God. So the Lord loves you. You have grown and the Lord is proud of you. Please write a comment. Uh, it'd be nice to get some feedback from you. So the next word is for Diane Littlefield. So Diane, the Lord showed me a closet. The closet was full of memories from the past. And the Lord says they were not all good or all bad. It was a mixture of memories. But then the Holy Spirit came and helped you to kind of clean out the, the, the closet. So it was empty. And then the Lord connected you in a new situation with new people. And that the whole closet was filled again with new amazing memories of things that's happening now in your life and things that's impacting people right now with the kingdom of god and so the lord says it's a time to let go of the past and it's a time to reach into the future because the lord has a good plan for you and he's going to use you in a mighty way and then i saw cupboards like kitchen cupboards that's filled with food and filled with all kinds of wonderful things and how you were just feeding people and entertaining people, and even feeding the poor, but also friends, ministers, and you just become this giver and hospitality, uh, and people could come together and just love on one another. And I just felt that the Lord is really going to change uh, your environment, and it's going to, you know, you always have been a giver uh, in, on the inside, but it's going to give you the means to be uh, that completely. God bless you. Hi, Dan. God loves you so much. So just like Joseph said, I got this picture as well, how God showed me that you are like a giver. And then I, sh I saw like this picture of how God showed me like your doors of your house like wide open. And then I saw like how people come to your house like every day. And when they step through the threshold of your front door, I just feel how they're hit by the anointing of God. And then I just feel like that I need to tell you as well that God is saying, don't look back. Don't look at what happened in the past. Look at the future. Look at the bright future that I have for you. 
I, I have given you a bright future and I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. I will always be with you. And then I feel like God is saying, and he's encouraging you and he's uplifting you. And he's saying, my daughter, I've made you a wonderful, wonderful person. And I love you so much. I am so proud of you. I'm so proud of you, what, you, what you've become. And I will always be with you. God loves you so much. Be blessed. Thank you, Diane, for being here tonight. Please remember to write us those comments, testimony, feedback. We love to hear from you. We want to see how you interpret the word. We are helping you to start to engage with your word as well so that you can think and pray about it and ask the Lord, Lord, what, what does this mean? What do I need to do with it? That is very, very important. Okay, the next word is for Kwanele. Kwanele, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I just saw a picture of you standing up and running with the vision that the Lord is giving you. It's a new beginning. It's like a, a sunrise in the early morning where the Lord says, well, yesterday is past. It's gone. It's not coming back. But today is a new day. Grasp it. Just take it and run with it. And when you see and say, yes, Lord, I, that's what I want to do, you'll see the possibilities that is in that day. The Lord says, I'm going to give you every day with a lot of possibilities in it. But you need to... Take it and say, yes, Lord, I want to do it. This is my will. I want to my will to align with your will so that your glory can come into this world. And then I just see your two hands reaching into the kingdom of God where it just gives you so much uh, power, so much energy so that you can spread the word of God to a multitude of people. Be blessed, Kwanele. Amen. Kwanele, God loves you very much. The Lord says, my daughter, I've given you the gift of confidence, and I'm going to train you within the, within the season of your life of how to use that supernatural confidence. And then Kwanele, the Lord also showed me a picture of how the Lord is calling you forward for friendship, not only with Him, but friendship with a lot of more um, different relationships in your life. There's an anointing and a breakthrough for relationships relationships coming into your life Penele. the lord loves you very much and the lord is calling you to sing the lord is calling you to dance in his presence but he's also calling you to be a prophet and to speak prophetic words into people's lives but first the lord wants to minister to your heart and do a work and a move in your heart so i really want to encourage you give your heart to the lord and let him transform it god loves you very much god bless you Oh, no. So, Cornelie, you know, in the parable of the talents, uh, the one person received five, the other one two, uh, and they received according to their ability. And when they were faithful and they multiplied their talents, then the Lord added more to them. And I just felt that the Lord is saying to you today that you are faithful yeah. with the responsibilities that He's given to you. And He's saying to you, good and faithful servant. And that's why He's giving you more responsibility, but also more favor upon your life. And so, Lord is very pleased with you, Quinelli. Um, it's a it's a wonderful, lovely spirit that comes out of you. Uh, it's also every time when I meet you, when we're there at church or at the school, and I meet you, then I just really feel that, that fragrance of the Holy Spirit uh, and that um, humility of God upon your life. And, you know, uh, in the scripture it says, when you, we humble ourselves before him, that's when he lifts us up. And I believe that is what the Lord is doing to you. Uh, I know you have a few desires. I just see in a spirit desires with question marks. And I just felt that the Lord says, I'm going to meet each one of those desires. And the scripture says, God gives us the desires of our heart. And he's going to do the same for you also. God bless you, Quinelli. It's wonderful that he came up tonight. Okay, so the next word is for Tabong Jr., Tabong, the Lord showed me how you run and you score a goal in basketball. Now, I've, I don't know if you've ever watched basketball uh, before, but it's very important that you have to work together as a team. And the Lord said to me, Tabong, I'm calling you to be a team player, uh, but I'm also giving you the anointing, the strength, the skill, and the ability to be that forerunner, that one that runs and see the victory and, and, and score one for the team. Uh, and then the Lord showed me uh, a spotlight and he said to me, I'll shine the spotlight on you and I'll give you the favor and I'll give you the victory. But you have to continue to give the glory to God and to humble yourself uh, before him. Uh, and as long as you can continue to do it, then the Lord will keep on giving you that favor and that blessing and you'll uh, launch you as a, a front runner. The other thing is, I just felt that the Lord says, he really longs for you to come into his presence 
uh, in worship and spending time of intimacy with him. And I want to encourage you every morning when you wake up, spend that time with him. I just felt that there's a desire of God for you to spend that time with him. God bless you. Hi, Tabang. God loves you so much. I feel like you are a leader in a community. You are a leader in God's kingdom, in God's. You are a warrior for God. I saw how you were like tribal dancing, you know, like when there's a fire and you were like dancing around the fire, everybody like in a circle going around. But I felt like you were worshiping God while doing that. And I just felt that like the power and the, the, the power going out from that because of worshiping God. I, I saw like a nuclear explosion happening because of that. And when that explosion happened, I just see how like people got healed and I saw how like people got saved. And I just see how God is saying that he's giving you favor with people as well. I feel like you've got such an influence with people as well to guide them and to help them in the right direction. I feel like you are such a guy, a person that, that people, when they see you, they immediately like you and they immediately want to follow you. They immediately want to, to, to like almost be like you. So I feel like you've got a huge responsibility on you as well to to like be what God has placed inside of you, to be what God, to be like Jesus on earth as well to other people so that people can look up to you as well and that people can be saved because of um, God's glory and God's favor on you. God loves you so much. Be blessed. Okay, thank you, Tabang, for being here tonight. Please remember to write your comments, testimonies, feedback. We love to hear from you. Okay, the next word is for Mary Jane. Mary Jane, the Lord loves you. And he cares a lot about you. He says sickness is not your portion. It is, it's, it's not your portion. Life and freedom is your portion. So renew your mind to say, yes, the will of the Lord for me is life and freedom. Life and freedom. Meditate upon it. Think, what does it mean? Engage that word daily up until you feel my body starts to be obey what I believe. So that your soul is not in charge of your spirit, but that your spirit is in charge of your soul. And then I saw you singing in a nice quiet voice, but so much anointing, so much power when you sing. Because when you sing, your heart connects to the heart of the Lord. And it's like a river flowing and you just allow it to come out of your mouth into the room. And the Lord says, that is very, very beautiful. Don't stop, but keep on just let it flow. Be blessed. Amen. Um, God loves you very much, Mary Jane. The Lord says, my daughter, I'm calling you to come deeper into my heart and my love, and I'm giving you a sound mind. Just as it's written in um, um, 2 Timothy 1 verse 7. Um, uh, Mary Jane, the Lord also says that he is going to use you to be um, just a counselor or a person that has understanding. I really feel the Lord is going to use you to minister to people um, with personal ministry. And the Lord is going to give you wisdom of how you are going to do it so that you'll still be able to protect yourself. And then the Lord also showed me a picture of how he wants to renew his covenants with you. Just like he created a covenant with Abraham, the Lord wants to create a covenant with you. So I really want to encourage you come into his presence and make that covenant with him and then uh mary jane there's an anointing of supernatural joy that the lord wants to bring into your life where you're going to feel so in love with the lord that you can't stop smiling because you you know that he loves you and you love him god bless you mary jane hi mary jane i'm so aware of how jesus is just embracing you and he's just holding you close to him tonight and how you open up your heart for that love to flow into you and that love actually heals a lot of things in your heart. Uh, the Lord loves you so much. Um, and, and I felt that the Lord is just saying you can even when you come into my embrace, you can just cry before him. And as you cry, it's almost as if you just release that the things that you harbored in your heart. He loves you very, very much. Awesome. Thank you, Mary. Uh, please write us a comment. Um, the next person is for Nora Katugi. Okay, so Nora, the Lord shows me shoes. And usually when I see shoes, then the Lord always talks to me about a new position, a new opportunity. Also, many times responsibility comes with that. But I just felt that the Lord is going to help you to be a little bit more laid back and a little bit more relaxed and not so 
driven or uh, so feeling like, you know, you're going to miss it. You're going to make use of every opportunity. I just feel that the Lord is just helping you to slow down a little bit and to step into his rest and into his peace. And uh, when you come into that place where you're in the rest of God, I've, I felt you're going to lead many people into the kingdom of God. Just because of your kindness, because of your soft heart, because of that joy of God that's in you. And the Lord says, do not worry about the day of tomorrow. I'm going to open up the doors as you step. And I, you know, sometimes you see in these movies, other guy walk down a corridor and then the next door open and the next one close behind him and the next door open. And I just felt that the Lord says, just walk in faith. You're going to see how am I going to open doors because my favor and my protection is upon you. Uh, Nora, God loves you very much. God bless you. Hi, Nora. God loves you. So God is saying, my daughter, I've anointed you to reach people and I've anointed you to be a mother to many people. I've anointed you with a soft heart and I've anointed you with love for other people and compassion for other people. My daughter, I'm so proud of you. And my daughter, I love you so much. I just feel like there's lots of anxiety that's like keeping you back. And I feel like you've like placed a wall around your heart. And I'm, uh, God is saying today he's coming with a sledgehammer and he's breaking that wall. And he's coming and he's wiping away that anxiety, that fear and everything that's holding you. God is coming and he's taking that away. And he's giving you a new confidence so that you can go out and you can do and you can use the anointing that God has given you. God loves you so much and he's so, so very proud of you. Don't be scared to be used by God and don't be scared um, because to, to speak God's word that God has given you. God loves you. Be blessed. Thank you, Nora, for being here tonight. Please remember to write those comments, testimony, feedback. And thank you for the guys who are so faithful and keeping the comments flowing, especially by encouraging words. We love that. Thank you very much. Okay, the next word is for Jane. Jane, the Lord... Loves you and he cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of uh, you as Samson that was tied with a rope. But because of his covenant that he had with the Lord, uh, he had that strength available every time when he needed it. So the Lord says, keep your covenant. Because when you keep your covenant, you will always have that strength with you. But if you stumble and fall, remember the righteous man um, uh, stands up again. It, it just... Uh, decides and say yes lord i have stumbled help me raise me up again and i will carry on um, and then i saw coffee time worship where you can just in the mornings where you make your coffee and say lord i want to hear your voice i give me instructions for today give me a clear mind for today show me what i can do for your kingdom today and then you'll just feel like oh my life has got purpose again be blessed, Jane. Amen, Jane. God loves you very much, Jane. The Lord, the picture God showed me for you was how you were coming into His presence, and you just gave God such a big hug, and He gave you such a big hug. And I just feel the Lord says, "I want to wrap my arms around you, and I want you to feel my embrace in a completely new level." Jane, there's an anointing of a dreamer God has placed into your life, where you're not only going to dream, but you're going to understand what the dreams are. The moment you ask Him, there's an anointing of worship leading in your life. Um, you don't even need a stage. You can just be around people and just lead them into worship in the presence of God. And then maybe a stage will come in the future or whatever platform God uses you in. I feel the Lord is going to use you mightily in worship. And then Jane, the Lord loves you very much. Um, I, I really want to encourage you, just like that angel went to Gideon and said, Arise, mighty man of valor. I feel the Lord, that's what the Lord is saying to you. Arise, mighty daughter of valor. The Lord is giving you boldness. The Lord is giving you courage and you know what this is not something you've got to find yourself this is a gift that you're going to receive from the lord so i just bless you with that gift in the name of jesus amen all right so uh, jane um i don't think they read your comments i i did read your comment um so i just want to uh, just say something about it for a moment okay so uh you're struggling with an obstacle in your life uh, you don't feel that you're having a harvest uh, the um, they might be delay in your life, uh, and I just felt that the Lord says there was things that brought delay, but because you were faithful to pray and to repent before Him, you were actually able to deal with a lot of things. And so now you need to put your faith in Him, and you have to trust Him, and you're going to see how the Lord is going to bring things into place. 
Okay, in terms of uh, a life partner, uh, I will trust uh, with you that the Lord will give you a husband so that you can be married. That's a desire that God has placed inside of you. So first, I want to say, don't feel guilty that you have that desire. I believe that desire is a natural desire that God has placed inside of you. I also believe that the Lord is the one that arrange intersections in the relationships. You know, I as a person am not clever enough to bring the right people into my life. But God is more than capable to bring the right people. And he organizes intersections. And so I have to be faithful when he says go or go there, do that, then to do that. A good example in the scripture is about uh, Acts chapter 8, about Philip. So the Lord said to him, I want you to go and stand there on the highway. And then Enoch came and then the Lord said, run next to the, the chariot. And he ran and then at the end, the Enoch got saved and baptized in water. So Philip had to be obedient, but the Lord arranged for that intersection, for that Enoch to read Isaiah 53. And so in the same way, I felt that the Lord says, just walk in the, according to the Spirit and the leading of the Holy Spirit. And he is going to make your wave smooth so that you're going to correct, uh, you're going to meet the correct uh, person that the Lord has for your life. But I just want to do just a word, a declaration over your life right now. So Father, I come in the name of Jesus and I just speak over Jane's life. So Lord, I stand with her in the courts of heaven. Lord, we repent for every sin that was committed by her and her parents uh, all the way to Adam in her in her bloodline, and Lord, we repent, and Lord, uh, we ask now that you'll wash it clean by the blood of Jesus, and Lord, in the name of Jesus, we take authority right now, and we break uh, the power uh, of the enemy, every curse against her shall not prosper, uh, Lord, every covenant uh, that has a name on Lord, to we stand now, and we give up all the rights and commitments connected to those covenants, and Lord, we say that only uh, uh, altar where Jane's name will be written is the blood of Jesus and the covenant that she has with God as her father and so Lord that's the only covenant that she is in in this day from this point forward and so Lord we repent of this honor and so Lord we break now the power of delay and we we declare uh, that uh, Jane shall have a harvest in the name of Jesus Jane the Lord loves you very, very much. Uh, you can write the feedback for us. Okay. Uh, Campy, uh, the Lord is saying to me, this is harvest time for you. Uh, the Lord uh, is helping you to deal with your past. And I see these seeds that are sown in your heart, that the enemy has sown in the night in your heart. And there's maybe a little bit of anger, frustration in your heart. But the Lord says, don't entertain darkness in your heart. Just come before God and repent of those things and, and, and uh, pull out the, the weeds out of your heart uh, and start to rejoice, start to be thankful. I, I find when, when we want to complain or we're frustrated about a situation, then uh, the, the first thing that goes is our joy and our thankfulness. And, and you know, uh, joy is a decision. Eh? That's why Paul says rejoice. Again, I say rejoice. You've got to decide because the moment you rejoice, then you actually open up your spirit to receive uh, the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gives righteousness, peace, and joy. It comes from the Holy Spirit. So it's something that you draw on. And I just felt that the Lord says, draw on the, the joy of the Lord uh, and, and, and make a decision to be thankful. You can even take a piece of paper every morning and write 10 things down that you're thankful about. Declare it before the Lord. Because that's how, how we enter into His courts and that's how you're going to have victory in your life. And so that's what I just felt that the Lord says. Don't look at your circumstances. That doesn't mean anything. God has already paid the price. He's got a wonderful life for you. Look at Him and you're going to see breakthrough come to you. God bless you, Campy. Hi, Campy. God loves you so much. You've got so much power inside of you because God has anointed you to be a mighty worshiper and to spread God's love to other people while worshiping. And I just see how you're like hands in the air and you're like worshiping God and you're like getting full of God's glory. And then when you're like full of God's glory, I see like you're like a cup running over and over and over and over. It's like you're a contagious sick sickness going to other people. And God has placed inside of you that anointing to reach people. I just, be, I just hear God is saying to you, um, my child, arise 
I have called you for a time like this. You are my anointed one. Wake up, spirit, so that I can use you. I just feel like God is saying that you need to wake up and you need to arise because God wants to use you. He's called you for a time like this. Be awake because God wants to use you. God loves you. Be blessed. Thank you, Campy, for being here tonight. Please remember to leave us a comment. We love to hear from you. Okay. The, uh, okay, sorry. <laughs> the next word is for Queen. Queen, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. The Lord says, I'm building you up once again. The plans of the enemy shall not prosper, but I, my plans in your life will prosper. Failure is not your portion. I see a lot of times you say, yes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try again, but... As soon as you said that, you already feel like, oh, but why do I need to try again? And the Lord says, I'm going to remove that bad spirit from you because I want to give you confidence. I know you will make it. I know you've got it within you to succeed. So keep on trying again and say, Lord, here I renew my mind. Help me so that I can renew my mind to what your word says so that the, the, the results will be what your word says as well. Not just what the world says. Don't listen to the counsel of the ungodly. It may sound good, but the purpose of that is not fully to be good. So rather listen to the words of the Lord that will help you and it will build you up again. Be blessed. Amen. Um, Queen, God loves you very much. And it's just, a, it's just a beautiful heart God has given you. And I feel the Lord says, come into my presence. Get filled up with my love and my light. Get filled up with my Holy Spirit because this is a time to overflow. Um, Queen, the picture God showed me was how you really feel like you got to really earn your portion you really got to earn your your place of of receiving the blessing you know just like um jacob had to steal esau once he stealed uh stole um, e um esau's birthright and i feel how you're kind of strategizing how can i get this birthright or how can i get this blessing but i feel the lord says it's not necessary if you i've already given you a birthright i've already given you a promise and all you need to do is come into my presence and receive it i feel the lord says you don't need to receive it from anyone else but from the lord and i feel the lord is giving you a lot of wisdom and knowledge within in, within this time of your life so i I really want to encourage you receive it and you don't need to receive this from anyone else but from the lord and the lord is training you up as well to be a woman of honor a woman of excellence but especially a woman after the lord's heart so i really want to encourage you come deeper into his presence and receive the portion that he has for you god bless you <laughs> all right awesome thank you queen um can be um i'm very thankful that you that you felt this was spot on. Because <laughs> I thought it was a little bit hard, but you know what? God loves you very much, and I think he's, he's trying to help you to get a breakthrough. Please go back, listen to that word, write it down. I believe the Lord is giving you some very good instructions. Heather, welcome from Alaska. Wow. Um, you know what sometimes happens, Heather? Um, if, uh, uh, I don't know why YouTube don't always recommend all the videos. Um, you know, there's a formula. Uh, so what you can do is when we go on quarter to eight South African time, you can just go to the Unity with Heaven uh, page and then you'll see the live video will come on uh, when it goes. But uh, I'm sorry that you missed us. Uh, either I just want to uh, say something to you. Uh, I just really felt uh, that the Lord wants to release uh, healing and protection over you and your family. And he wants to touch each one. Uh, uh, just, I just felt there's a, there's a breakthrough that the Lord wants to give to you. Uh, don't lose faith. Uh, the Lord's hand is upon you and he's going to help you in a mighty way. I also see, like, you know, when you look through a lens of a camera and you're trying to find focus, you get focus, you lose it, you get focus. And I just felt that that happened a little bit to you where you lost focus. And the Lord is just uh, saying to you, he's your father. He is great, he's strong, he will supply, he's in control. You don't have to fear and uh, um, you don't have to worry and allow that to come in and let you lose focus. Uh, and he's definitely going to uh, bring healing and protection into your family. So God bless you, Heather. Okay, so um, the next person we're going to minister to is Sylvia. So Sylvia, uh, I did see your, your messages. Uh, you're really an encourager and I thank you for... For all the comments, it's, it's nice to have you on tonight. 
uh, what the Lord showed to me, that there is a mighty gift of God inside of you. And sometimes you don't think that you have something to give. But the Lord says you have a lot to give. And you need to open up your heart and you need to let that river of God flow out of you. Uh, prophetic words, uh, let it come out of you. Helping, serving, giving, uh, even financial gifts. I just felt that the, the Lord is, help, uh, is creating you to be a guide for His life to flow through you. And the Lord says you're going to accomplish far more than you think you can do. And He wants you to take restrictions and limitations off of your own life. You think I cannot do it, but the Lord says, you can. I've put the potential in you to, to do miracles and then He's going to use you in a mighty way. God bless you. Hi Sylvie, God loves you and He's so proud of you. I just hear God is saying, he, he who has the ear to hear, let them hear. And I feel like God is saying that you need to tap into God's um, Tap into God so that you can hear when He's speaking to you. I feel like God is saying that He wants to speak to you and He wants to give you visions. He wants to give you word. He wants to give you dreams. But but you don't always hear and you don't, you're don't you not always open to hear. And I feel like that you need to go and sit and you need to spend time with God. And you need to get um, um, more knowledge and more training of how to hear God's word. Because God wants to speak to you. I see like a cell phone conversation how God is like... Um, dialing you but it keeps on being on voicemail and God is saying that he wants to spend time with you he wants to impart into you he wants to give you new visions and he wants to talk to you and then I feel like also there's like new business opportunities come coming your way um, and God is saying with that opportunities he's going to give you favor 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 God loves you so much be blessed all right awesome um, so uh, thank you Sylvia please write us feedback uh, so I just want to say something to Naomi. So Naomi, I think you're from Turkey, eh? Wow. Yeah. Uh, so Naomi, I really just felt that the Lord says, um, you're going to win the battle in the natural, but you're also going to win the battle in the spiritual. And keep on trusting me and keep on letting your light shine. You know that scripture in, in John chapter 1, where it says, and, and, light, and uh, um, light will overcome darkness. And I believe that is what the Lord is saying to you. There is a great light of God that's inside of you. There's fresh revelation that's giving to you. And when people look at you, they're going to see in your eyes the love of Jesus. And there's nothing that they can do against uh, you. In Galatians chapter 5, 23, it says there, that's the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And then in it says there's no law against those. And that's what, what God is saying to you. Okay, God bless you, Naomi. Uh, guys, uh, thank you. I see there's at least... 20 more people that put their names on. We didn't get to you. We're going to be back on Monday evening again. And we'd love to minister to you. We're going to start at 7 o'clock. So be quick to write your name in a comment. 7 o'clock, then we'll minister to you. Have a fabulous weekend. God bless you.